the union is here, they're taking it over. And guess who comes here? They, they flee this house. Less than 24 hours later, Abraham Lincoln comes to this house, walks in this door, and sits in this parlor right here. Walk with History today is from the White House of the Confederacy in Richmond, Virginia. East Clay Street, and this is the home of Jefferson Davis. So there were three White Houses of the Confederacy. First one is in Montgomery, Alabama, only for a couple months. This is the longest one, and then he ends up in North Carolina. So three White Houses of the Confederacy when he runs away from here after Richmond Falls. But this is the house. At the time, this was an affluent neighborhood of Richmond. Now it's very much engulfed by the Virginia uh, Medical Center buildings all around here. But there's a sign out front. It was built in 1880, and it says a Dr. John Brocken Brockenborough. Now he wasn't really a doctor. He was the president of the Bank of Virginia. Tons of money, right? Builds this house in 1818. Looks nice. He furnishes it with a bunch of Greek statues. And so when he sells it to the city of Virginia and they lease it to the Confederacy government for an executive mansion, it stays furnished with all of that stuff. So Jefferson Davis moves here with Verena. Verena is his second wife. He marries Verena when he's 36, she's 18, she's very young. So they have a lot of young children here. His first wife was the daughter of, of Zachary Taylor. She dies three months after their marriage and he really is heartbroken. That's why he doesn't marry for a long time after she dies. But they come in, they move in here in 1861 and they have two more children as they live here. They all will lose one child as they live here. They have that connection with Abraham Lincoln who will also lose a child during his presidency. But here we are, you see the children here. And you have Jeff Jr., Margaret, Verena Ann, and William. William and Verena Ann are born here. And then Joseph will die here on a fall, April 30th, 1864. Now, right as Richmond falls, April 3rd, the union is here, they're taking it over. And guess who comes here? They, they flee this house. Less than 24 hours later, Abraham Lincoln comes to this house, walks in this door and sits in this parlor right here. I will show you the video of the room. And it's just very stoic concern. It's the end of the war. You know, the surrender will be five days from there on April 9th. So, as you know, this is just a turning point in American history. The Davises live here from August of 1861 to April of 1865. So the longest executive mansion, the longest White House of the Confederacy, again here in the middle of Richmond, Virginia. And it was turned into a school after that and then made into a museum in the 1890s and then it was restored to look how it looked when the Davises lived here. First floor, as you'll see in the videos, is you walk in a part, uh, like a uh, foyer, then there's the dining room, formal dining room. They think the kids and family would eat downstairs where it's cooler and didn't have to worry about them breaking as much things with children. And then receiving rooms, and then like a little sitting room where Abraham Lincoln sat. Davis's office, which you will see their bedroom, Verena's dressing room, where she wrote a bunch of correspondence, and the nursery.
are is where they believe people who stayed with the family stayed. Housekeeper, friends of the family, things along that nature. And the basement area was food storage, kitchen preparation. Um, but more than likely, we've talked about this, kitchens would be out here, away from the home because of fire. And carriage houses would be out here, outbuildings would be out here, farms would be out here. This is all, all that's left now is just the house. When you come here, you'll go to this building behind, and that's where your the gift shop is at, and that's where you're gonna buy your tickets. But look at how cool they have a bunch of old cast iron things. And look at this old porch. And look at these old windows. And you can see the keystone and these big columns. It does give you this grandiose feeling of the of White House, right? Even though it's the White House of the Confederacy, it does give you this big grandiose feeling. Much like my children are playing back here in the courtyard. This area, the Jefferson Davis children probably played out here in the courtyards. This is behind the house. And as I said before, it has those big pillars. It looks very impressive and very formative as a executive mansion would probably look. But this is down the street from the Capitol building of Virginia. Richmond is the capital of Virginia, and this is down the street. So it makes sense that the, you know, the president of the Confederacy would live down the street from the Capitol building. Also, who lived in this neighborhood was the Patton family of General Patton from World War II. So his great-great-grandfather played with these children. And Jeff, General Patton always had a photograph of Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson on his desk because he was very influenced by their leadership and their military knowledge. And so you can tell that that family was very influenced by living and growing up in this neighborhood. Another cool thing they have when you walk up is they have this big piece of metal and this it's a section of the propeller from the ironclad Virginia. Isn't this cool? Section of the propeller shaft of the famous ironclad Virginia, the Merrimack. And it's a central portion of the machinery uh, furnishing the, mo the motor power of the ship and in her engagements in Hampton Roads. So don't forget to watch that video. We do a whole video of the Battle of the Ironclads from where it happened in Norfolk off the coast of Norfolk, but this is a piece of the Virginia. And then we have a whole video where they found the monitor off the coast of Hatteras. So make sure you watch that video as well. So if you ever get a chance, visit the Jefferson Davis White House of the Confederacy in Richmond, Virginia. And there's much more here to see in Virginia as well. We're gonna have some of that for you. But thank you for joining us today. And if you have any other suggestions or ideas, let us know. And on to our next. Walk the history.